Hello, I am Krishna Raghavendran and in this tutorial of MIT App Inventor, we are going to see how to create a weather bot using MIT App Inventor. So let me show you how this works. So first I need to click on the speak button and I can ask any questions related to weather like I can ask the temperature, the humidity and the wind speed of a particular place. I am the weather bot. You can ask me any weather information. What place do you want? So first I need to tell my place. So let me click on speak and I'm going to tell my place. Chennai. Now I need to ask any weather question. So first I will ask the temperature. What is the temperature? The temperature is in 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Now I'm going to ask the humidity. Humidity. Humidity level is 62%. Now I will ask the wind speed. What is the wind speed? Wind speed is 4 miles per hour. Now you can also ask a time of a particular place. So let me ask for the time. What is the time? The time is Friday 1.31 pm. Now you can see that it answers all these questions. So it gets the information from Google. So for that we are going to use an extension. So this is 100% accurate because it is getting the information from Google, all the weather information. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about creating your own mobile apps free and easily using a tool called MIT App Inventor which is block based coding and easy. So if you want to create fantastic mobile apps, start now by clicking the red subscribe button and the bell icon. So first I'm going to put a background for this, so I'm going to put the weather bot image. So I'm going to give you the link in the description to download the weather bot image. If you want, you can also create your own image. Now in the properties of screen 1, change this to be weatherbot.png. Now you can see that the background image is the weather bot. Next we are going to bring in a button. This is the speak button. We are going to put this to be at the bottom. So for that let's go to screen 1. And here you can see align horizontal. Change this to be center like this and then I'm going to change the align vertical to be bottom now you can see that it is centrally aligned and it is at the bottom now let's change the text of this to be speak next we are going to bring in text to speech and speech recognizer because we are going to use the text to speech so that the robot can speak and using the speech recognizer the robot can get what question we are asking media and we are going to bring in speech recognizer and the text to speech now we are going to use a weather extension to get the weather from google so as we don't have any weather component in mit app inventor we are going to use this extension called weather i i'm going to give the link in the description from where you can download it so if you scroll down make sure you download the latest version so now the latest version is 1.1 of this so you need to download the aix file or the extension file back in mit app inventor we need to import the extension as we have downloaded it so let's go to extension and here click on import extension and you need to import the aix file of the extension now you can see that it is imported let's bring it in to the designer now let's go to the block section so first we are going to create two variables question and place now you can see that i created two of these variables so next what we are going to do is when the screen one is initializing which means the app is loading this weather bot needs to speak out like it needs to introduce itself and it needs to tell the user what he needs to do. So for that we are going to use text to speech. Let's bring in this block called text to speech one dot speak and here in the message I am going to type a message. So let me just put this message. Now you can see that the message is I am the weather bot you can ask me any weather information what place do you want so first it will ask the place like they need to tell their place for which they need the weather so for that we are going to set the question to be place so let me just duplicate this and here make sure you put place next they will answer this question I mean the question for the place they will tell the place using the speech recognizer so to do that they will click on the speak button here so let's go to the block section and here when button one dot click so button one is the speak button we will get the text from the user using the speech recognizer so let me just bring in this block now after the speech 
recognizer gets the text we are going to put an if condition to find whether it's asking the place or they are asking any other question so for that here let's bring in the if condition and now we are going to bring in the equal to operator like this now let me just duplicate this and here i'm going to bring in get global question so if the global question is equal to place which means that the robot is asking place they will tell their place and we will save it in this variable called place so set global place to we will get the result so that we can know what the user is telling which place they want next we are going to put the else for this let me just bring in else and here inside this else we are going to put another if condition to find whether to find the question they are asking so for this we are going to use the contains block so let me bring in this block and here what we are going to put is the text is going to be the result let me just bring in the result and the piece is going to be temperature so let me duplicate this and here i'm going to put temperature so this means that if whatever they speak which is the result contains the word temperature then it needs to tell the temperature so how can we get the temperature we are going to get it using this extension the weather extension so here you can see get temperature in celsius also there is the get temperature in fahrenheit so i'm going to bring in this block in fahrenheit and then we need to give the place so the place will be this variable so they have already told the place so we will just get the place here like this using this variable next we are going to add the else if for this if condition so let me bring in the else if block like this and here let me just duplicate this and now we are going to add the second one which is the sunrise so this means that if whatever this peak contains the word sunrise it needs to tell the sunrise time in the particular place so we are going to, we are also going to add that so for that let's go to the weather extension again and here you can see weather one dot get sunrise time so let me just bring in this block and here i'm going to put place so the same way you can put another else if condition and you can add the wind speed and then there are many other things you can see the sky information the precipitation level the time and humidity so you can add all of these Now you can see that I added all of these. So first you can see temperature, sunrise, humidity and then the wind speed and then the sky information. So what the sky information is, it will tell whether the sky is sunny or foggy or it. But now here in this extension I don't know why, but this sky information feature is not working. I think it will be this bug will be fixed in the later releases of the extension. so others are working so now next we have the precipitation level and then the time of the particular place next you can see that we we are getting the information for all of these after we get we need to use the text to speech so that the robot can speak out so for that here you can see first we are going to bring in get got temperature in fahrenheit so after it gets the temperature it needs to speak it out so for that let me go to text to speech and here you can see speak In the message, I'm going to use the join block because I'm going to put multiple items. So first, let me put the temperature is. Make sure you put a space after is, and then now we are going to get the temperature and we will put it here so that it will speak out the temperature. The same way, what we are going to do is let me go to weather, and here you can see that the second one is the sunrise. So for that, let me bring in got sunrise time. and here let me just duplicate this and now i'm going to put here the sunrise time is and i'm going to change this variable to be time like this so the same way you can put for all of these now you can see that i have added for all of these the sunrise time the temperature and then the humidity the wind speed and then the sky information precipitation level and then the local time Now I missed one block so make sure you just put let me just duplicate and here make sure you put set global question to you need to erase everything it should be an empty string so you need to put this here if global question is equal to place so here you can see the weather bot app I am the weather bot you can ask me any weather information what place do you want do you want so I'm going to tell my place Chennai what is the temperature The temperature is 91 degrees Fahrenheit. 
Now I'm going to ask the sunrise time. Sunrise time. The sunrise time is 5.58 a.m. Next, I'm going to ask for the humidity level. What's the humidity level here? The humidity level is 63%. What is the wind speed? The wind speed is 6 miles per hour. Precipitation. The precipitation level is 4%. What is the time? The time is Friday 2.32 p.m. Now you can see that it answers all my questions. Next what you need to do is you need to add this weather bot feature to the voice assistant app which I made earlier. I have made a video on this. So if you haven't seen the voice assistant video you can see it here and you can also add the feature. Also watch my full course of MIT App Inventor here to create more fantastic apps like this one. Oh, 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 oh,